back again with Razor Edge Review. So this review is going to be on board brushes. Uh, so everyone that watches my channel knows that I'm not a big fan of the Vonderhagen brush. Uh, mainly the bristles. Uh, they're real razor sharp whenever I got them. After a month, finally got that backbone where it's really broken in, somewhat nice. I thought the hairs were smooth and soft until uh, I received my new brush today and... Uh, these aren't smooth and soft like I thought. Uh, the only thing I really like about this is the handle. That's it. So uh, this is going to be the unboxing, half-ass unboxing of uh, the Omega. It's green. It's uh, lot number is 10065. Uh, so I have, like I said, this is going to be a half-ass. I have used this. I have started to break this in, washed it a couple times, uh, just within a day. It's already started to break in. Uh, this this brush, this is what it looked like when, it, when I got it. I mean, it was really stiff. Uh, I had to break it in because, like, I couldn't even do really a face lather. You can't press down just an overextension of uh, stiffness in these bristles. So, uh, you know, I did use my method going like this, uh, washing it, just really uh, grabbing it like this. This is what it looks like now. After one day. These bristles are so damn soft. Uh, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to give you guys a secret. Whenever you get this brush, it is going to stink bad. Your shave uh, soap may not do the trick because I lather mine with three different shave soaps and it still didn't do the trick. Grab your conditioner. I have a uh, Olay's uh, Ultra Moisturizing and Ultra uh, Hydrant Hydrating uh, conditioner. So I just loaded it up. It's uh, the stench is still there, but it's down like twenty five percent. You know, a couple more times using that, it'll definitely be gone. Uh, this brush, wow, I uh, I love it. So it does have. Basically almost the same loft. It's a little, it's a tad bit bigger. Uh, the diameter is 24 on the Vonderhagen. Uh, this is a 24 uh, millimeter base. The the loft knot is uh, 55 millimeters. The only thing I don't like that I like on the Vonderhagen is the handles. This the black handle is a tad bit bigger, and diameter is bigger. I have really big hands. So, uh, you know, I, I like that that handle because my hands cramp up whenever you're lathering. Like I said, I did uh, use this earlier. I will be doing a shave review because uh, this guy asked me to grow out my facial hair a little bit. So I did a mustache and goatee. And uh, he wanted to see how my Maggard MR1 stacks up with uh, thicker hair. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, I will be doing a review on uh, the Astro Blades. So it's going to be the Astra challenge or face off. I have already shaved like I, like I said with uh, the blades. And uh, make sure you check that video out. So this is the Omega 10065. It's a, it's a really nice brush. There's a reason uh, for I end this video I want to tell everyone why I prefer boar brushes over badger. This past weekend I uh... I went to this wildlife uh, thing where they had a whole bunch of animals and uh, it, it sort of scarred me because I've been wanting to try a silver tip but uh, I don't know if I'm going to now because I saw a stuffed uh, a badger there and uh, it, it sort of it got to me that this animal badgers don't do anything actually they help us out with our ecosystem quite you know quite a bit they're very friendly they're playful and uh you know it just it upset me that we would kill an animal just for its hair so we can make these so men can you know feel good about you know their brush you know their shaving experience uh you know if they're already dead then that's something different but if we're purposely going out there trapping them and killing them they don't they don't do any harm to the ecosystem at all you know they actually benefit us uh but boars on the other hand razorbacks they're uh I mean, if, if you come up in contact with a, a badger, you know, he's most likely going to run away. He's going to go in the water. Uh, it's not the same thing with a razorback or a, a boar. If you come in contact with them, they're going to kill you. So uh, basically, you know, why, 
you know, I'd rather have a boar brush, you know, and uh, save a couple badgers lives than uh, to basically, uh, you know, I, really, to me, boars, look at all the TV shows. There's so many uh, farmers out there and ranchers that pay thousands of dollars for people killing boars. So uh, to me, no loss to the game. Uh, make sure you check out my shaving video. So that's my reasons why I like boar brushes. Uh, remember, have a great day. Have a great shave.